How do you tell the difference between real media and a deep fake? This is Arnold Schwarzenegger, and this is him in The Wizard of Oz. Now you might be wondering, was Arnold really an actor in The Wizard of Oz? Well, not quite. That was a deep fake. But deep fakes can also be used for much more malicious purposes. But wait, what is a deep fake? At its core, a deepfake is a piece of synthetic media that appears authentic but has been made or manipulated with generative AI models. There are three main types of deepfakes, audio, video, and text. Audio deepfakes aim to synthetically generate sound that has been created or altered using deep learning models. Video deepfakes typically involve the training of a deep neural network on a large dataset that features the media of the target. Text deepfakes typically refer to artificially generated content meant to mimic the style, structure, and tone of human writing. Deepfakes leverage a branch of artificial intelligence called deep learning, specifically a type of neural network known as a generative adversarial network, also known as a GAN. A GAN, which was created in 2014 by computer scientist Ian Goodfellow, consists of two competing neural networks, a generator and a discriminator. The generator consists of thousands to millions of training data points which create hyper-realistic audio, images, and videos. The generated media is then fed into the discriminator, which provides the likelihood of the media being real or fake. Through backpropagation, the discriminator's classification provides a signal that both the generator and the discriminator use to update their weights. This feedback loop helps the generator improve its ability to create realistic forgeries over numerous iterations and helps the discriminator improve its ability to correctly identify real and fake media. Some major caveats of this training method is that a deep fake could inherit bias within the data. For example, if it is trained off of images of mainly cats in leadership, it could generate deep fakes that perpetuate gender stereotypes. The generator could also produce unpredictable outputs such as generating SpongeBob SquarePants when all you asked for was a sponge. The training phase also requires massive amounts of data, which limits accessibility. So how are deepfakes weaponized? Deepfakes can be used to spread misinformation, like fake news videos that manipulate public opinion or tarnish reputations faster than you can say deleted. Political campaigns? Vulnerable. Social causes? Exploited. Trust in online media? Well, that's eroding faster than a sandcastle in a hurricane. Deepfakes raise more ethical red flags than the Akotar characters. Critting one without someone's consent is a massive privacy breach. This is the dark side of deepfakes. But how can they be used for good? We saw how deepfakes can be misused, but they can also have many positive impacts. They can be good, funny, and educational. Accessibility tools. Deepfakes can translate sign language into realistic speech or create accurate subtitles for videos in real time, making information more accessible. Entertainment. Deepfakes can create hilarious parodies and skits, placing celebrities in outrageous situations. Imagine a cooking show with a deepfaked Gordon Ramsay critiquing the culinary skills of historical figures. Education. Deepfakes can bring historical figures to life. They can be used for de-aging actors in movies or creating realistic special effects, pushing the boundaries of filmmaking. By harnessing the positive aspects and fighting back against the malicious ones, we can ensure deepfakes become our friends rather than our foes. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!